As you see here, in the gameplay screen, you have arrows scrolling up slowly towards the top of the screen. You're going to want to wait until those arrows get all the way up to the top, and as they get to the very top, that's when you're going to step up. So when you see a left arrow slowly scrolling up, you look down at your feet, you find where the left arrow is, and you wait until that left arrow is all the way at the top. And that's when you step on it, as you see here. Now in our results screen, you can see how many steps they got of each, how many they missed. There's also a histogram that shows you every single step you made, whether it was early or late where it was, and a nice ratio to show you how often you were early and how often you were late. There are even other times we'll have a much more diverse class. And in those times, we can select three different difficulties at the same time. Here I'm going to select our easy difficulty, our hard difficulty, and our master difficulty. And now my students can press up or down to determine if they want to play easy, hard, or even master. And here you can see they've selected master, hard, and easy. And this number here tells them what pad they're on. They look down on their own mat and they see the number eight. They know that they've selected the best choice for them. And with that in mind, we can now start the next game. Now on the results screen, we can see how many steps that we got and how many steps that we missed. It shows us near perfect timing, pretty good timing, and timing that was not quite as good. Down below plots every single step that you made for the entire song. It shows you whether the steps were a little early, a little late, or perfect. And if that's too much detail for some players, we have the very simple 80% early, 19% late. Finally, at the bottom, we have our ranking, and you can see who got first, second, third, fourth, etc. separated into their difficulties. The two expert players up here on the screen are Matt 3 and Matt 1. Meanwhile, the master players are in their own ranking from 1 to 6. Now, another one of the good teaching tools is this game has a pause function I can use at any time. I just press number 2, and it paused it. This is one of the more tricky jumps for brand new players. Instead of a simple left, right, or up, down, it is an up and a right, so I can pause it and make sure my class gets into position. Okay, if I could have all the students get on the up and the right arrows. Now that they're all in position, it'll help them when they're learning these new moves. We can see they're all gonna be ready for this up and this right. All right, class, here we go. Three, two, one, action. We can see that they all stepped on that. Here comes another one. Good, and now left, right, jump. Another important feature is the teacher can turn on an assist tick that'll clap just when the arrow is hit. So by simply pressing the button one here, you can now hear a tick every time you're supposed to step. Some of the other students just want a more basic tick that claps every quarter note to keep them in beat. By pressing that again, it'll now just clap on the quarter notes. These are very helpful to the teacher when assisting with rhythm. Okay, once again I have selected three different difficulties at once. So I can have players play on easy, hard, or very, very difficult. This one at the top is easy, this one is hard, and this one is master. On the far right, we're gonna have the very easiest difficulty. Meanwhile, in the middle, we'll have the next difficulty, and on the right, we'll have the hardest difficulty. We have real-time scoring. Just located right here. So you can see how well they've done so far. You don't have to wait till the end of the song. So far, player seven has 90% of perfect. Also located at the very top is a progress bar that's slowly filling up. And when that's full, the song ends. You'll also notice at the top of each column, you have rankings to see who's currently in first, second, and third for each difficulty. We have three clocks up there. One tells us what time it is. Another one tells us how long we've been playing this song. And finally, the last one tells us how long we played today. 